Okay, this is my Max MSP creation, it's called the Time and Space Machine and essentially it's an experimental composition and sound design tool. Um, I myself am a big fan of noise music and soundscapes and experimental music and this was designed to be a fun way to create those kinds of sounds. It's also slightly based on some early electronic music techniques where they use tape manipulation and so I've emulated um, the way they used to speed up and slow down tape and then put it through echo chambers and reverbs, that sort of thing to give it quite a, a spooky and unusual sound. So this is just the normal default mode that will start when you first switch the machine on and I'm just going to show the different effects that it applies. At the heart of it are two loops, you've got one on the left hand side called Delia, one on the right hand side called Daphne and they can be independently controlled um, with their own effects. With the 360 controller you can control the pitch and speed of Daphne with the right stick and the pitch and speed of Delia with the left stick. Pushing up increases the pitch, and down decreases, right speeds it up, left slows it down. So we can see that in action we turn the sound on. These are the default loops that will start up. You can then reverse all of the loops, so if I solo the right hand one, and then reverse it. You can also apply a stutter effect to either of the loops, where you can grab the first few samples. Like that. Pushing it in further will make the stutter slightly longer. Reverb and delay effects on either. And if we bring the other one back in, you can start to build up some quite varying soundscapes that differ greatly from the original sounds that you first had. You can also apply a bit crush distortion to both. Okay, so another element of the time and space machine is the ability to put in your own sounds and you can load samples into either of the two buffers um, which then allows you to manipulate them in all the same ways as the two default sounds. So to demonstrate that I'll just switch the sound back on. Then again I'm just going to solo the right hand buffer. Now I can click down here to open file. library and find the sample that you want. Um, just for demonstration purposes, I've got a fairly well-known hip-hop track. So this just again allows me to demonstrate how different the sound can end up being.
some really quite wild sounds from your original sample. Okay, so the third main function of the time and space machine is the ability to record in your own sounds via a microphone and layer them up and loop them and then put them through all the same effects that you were using before. Um, we're going to have to be a little bit cautious with this demonstration as I have a microphone here and the sound is inevitably going to feed back. So I will try not to add too many sounds but hopefully it should give you the idea. So if I turn it back on. And then we can switch to this mode by pushing the centre button here. And we will first record into Daphne and we can layer that up. And then we can switch to Delia and add samples into that as well. So, for example. So that's the first sound recorded in. And then when you want to overdub sounds, you just hold this button here. those sounds all running in the right hand buffer now. So we can switch to the other side and record in there as well. start creating completely unique soundscapes. Continue to add as many sounds as you like. DJ 
interesting thing as well is that depending on how the settings are when you add a sound, for example, that loop was reversing when I added that last sound. So now whilst all the other original sounds are playing forwards, the most recent addition is playing backwards, which again opens up some very interesting qualities. This in fact also means that if you speed up the recording whilst you record in, you'll record at half the speed. Meaning that you can then go half the speed again and again opening up lots of uh, variety and scope for creating unusual sounds.